What's up everybody, Sam Smice here. Today I wanna to show you how that viral Drake and the Weeknd AI song was made. Now before we get started today, if you're watching this video, then you have probably seen some of my other videos. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And also please go ahead and give this video a like to help with that YouTube algorithm. All right, let's go and jump right into it. Now, if you're involved in the music industry in any sort of way, then you must have heard this song. I believe it was called Heart on My Sleeve. I actually found a Wikipedia page that was already made about the song. And it was basically so convincing that the major label Universal Music had to take it down from all platforms because it sounded so much like Drake. And I thought it sounded really like Drake. I wasn't too convinced about the weekend performance, but obviously both of these performances of Drake and The Weeknd were so convincing that the major labels took action. Now you've probably seen some other people doing this and hearing different versions of Drake AI covers. There is a program called UberDuck or a website called UberDuck where it is text to speech or TTS where you can basically type in some text and then select the rapper that you want to wrap that text and then it will convert that text into a voice. And then you can have someone like Eminem doing a rap and David Guetta did this recently. He had a video that was pretty popular where he took the Eminem vocal that that Uber Duck made and then he played it out at one of his festivals on top of one of his instrumentals. This is the future rave sound. I'm getting lost in an underground. Now this Heart on My Sleeve song was not made using TTS. I believe it was actually made using SVC. I don't know why they make these abbreviations so much and so ambiguous, but SVC stands for singing voice conversion. So what is singing voice conversion? Well, it converts one singer's voice to sound like that of another, and that's the simplest way to describe it. So it helps if you have a vocal that sounds very similar to the artist that you want to convert to sound like. Now, I assume that this ghostwriter sang that Drake verse very similar to how Drake would sing it. And it's not too hard if you are a rapper to sing a verse like Drake, it's kind of easy to mimic. So that's why I believe that that verse was a lot more convincing than the weekend verse. And this is one of the programs that I found is most popular, soft V C V I T S singing voice conversion. So you can see it shortened uh, in different places as so vits S V C. Now this is a GitHub page. I, uh, disclaimer here, I'm not technical, I'm not a software developer, so if I do say anything wrong, then I do apologize, or if I get anything wrong, then I do apologize. So luckily somebody created a way to run this program using Google Colab, which is a machine learning site, and it uses the Google Cloud or basically Google Drive to put the files in, and then it runs the processes to run this program. So you don't have to like download all these files and learn Python and then go through it. Now, since I can't really rap, I'm not really that great of a singer. I just found a splice vocal and it sounds really similar to Drake and I'll play you some parts of it. Yeah, I just walked in with a hundred bands. I got a hundred bands. So it's got that yo, the that sounds like Drake. Hey. And that A, that sounds like Drake. This part doesn't really sound like Drake. I'd rather money where he's kind of singing more. Eyes on the money. Straining a little bit more, but I think it will just want to see how it sounds once I run it through this uh, Sovitz program. Now this is the link and I will put it in my video description. Sovitz SVC. Now I believe people are constantly updating this, so the links may change. There might be better versions. If you just search SVC different programs, you'll find other ones. I believe there's one called Diff SVC. Now, what you do essentially is you just click on this button and then it will run the program or the processes and then you'll get a little check mark and then you'll run this program, this program. So you just got to run all these once, the ones that say just run this once. And then when you hit this one, this will show you the voice models. So you could actually select a voice model. And then you have this option where you can put input your own voice models. And this is where I'm going to input the Drake voice model. Luckily, somebody already did this voice model, so they trained it and they did all that work for me. But if you are more technical and really understand this, then you can take a bunch of acapellas from somebody like Billie Eilish, run them through the training model, figure out how to do that, and then come up with your own data set. So then you could take a, a demo singer and then convert it to sound like Billie Eilish. So I actually found another website link that is this Sovitz SVC. 
And this one, when I ran this one, it actually didn't work. So you can try it and see if it works for you. But this one has these links that has the voice models. So that was really helpful that I was able to just grab one of these links and then copy it into the other Sovitz SVC collab site that works. So essentially, I just copied this Drake mega.nz file and then pasted it into this model URL. I basically already ran this. I'm going to show you what it looks like after I ran it. So then it just kind of pops down all this code after you run it. And uh, after you run it, it'll also show you like a check mark. So this is the setup SHV uh, downloads, and then it has all these other options for voice models you can try out that they've already performed um, or kind of run all the data sets to create. And then this other downloads step. So basically, I just went to Drake, copied, and then pasted it in there, hit the play button here. It, it extracted the zip download. And then it says, please restart the runtime before running the next cell. So you go up here, hit restart runtime, and then you hit the, uh, and then it says, open the file explorer on the left of your screen and drag and drop on audio file anywhere, then run the below cell. So the file explorer hit this little file button. So you basically just take your file and then drag it and drop it in there and it'll pop in there and it'll start uploading it. So you see this little blue wheel, it's just starting to upload it. I'm going to X that because I already uploaded it. And then it says Drake01 because that's the voice model that I uploaded in this mega.nz file. And then you can trans transpose it. So it starts it at 12. I don't know why it starts at 12. I just put it at zero. And then it will uh, run the uh, processing and you just hit convert here. And so this was the first time where I had it at, I think, 12 trans uh, transpose at 12. I got other plans you hey. So it's kind of high, and uh, then you just download it. I think this was the one that I ended up using. I got a hundred bands. Yo, shorty say she love me. Got a other man. Yo. So then I just hit download, and then I put it into Ableton Live. And now let's just go ahead and check it in Ableton. And I just did some light mixing and put it on top of a beat. So now we can hear what it sounds like. Yo, I just walked in with a hundred bands. I got a hundred bands. Yo, shorty say she love me. Got a other man. Yo. Eyes on the money, I got other plans, hey. I read the money. Eyes on the money. I read the money. Eyes on the money. Now that's pretty convincing. This rap part, I think, is a lot more convincing than the sung part. I basically just kind of cut up some of the empty spaces because it tends to end, uh, add in this like background noise. Yo. I just walked in with a hundred men. Sometimes, but sometimes it can get a bit glitchy on some words. So you can just kind of cut out some words. Hopefully you can re replace them. So it's not perfect. It all depends on also the training model. And uh, I don't really know who is training these models and creating these models. Uh, but if you're technical enough, then you can go to that GitHub page and then it has a whole description on how you can actually train your own model. Now, I actually found a even easier way to do this. Somebody has set up a Discord channel where they created some bots where you can just kind of tag these bots and then they run that whole process for you. Now it's getting overrun like crazy. I think when I found this server, it had 10,000 members and it's already got like 11,000 members in the past month. So these AI bots might be overloaded at the moment. So they have the slow mode enabled. Uh, so it might be faster if you just do it that go Google Colab way. But if you just want to join a Discord server, then you can join this one. Hopefully, it's still active and, and running by the time that you see this video, because uh, sometimes these things can can get buggy. Uh, I don't really know how they created these bots. But you basically just join this AI world, and they have some good models in here. I tried this Justin Bieber one. This Justin Bieber one was pretty bad. So I don't know why. Uh, I guess you have to train the data the more information you can input into the training model and train it. And this it, training it these models, it takes a long time to do. I think you have to kind of keep doing it and doing it. Um, so I guess whoever did this Justin one didn't spend that much time doing it. So I tried that one. It ended up being pretty bad when I listened to it. So anyway, basically all you do is you go to one of these AI bots and uh, it looks like they have the bots, some of the bots turned off at the moment. But what you do is you just kind of do dash and then the model. So I would do dash Taylor. And then I would drag in the file that I wanted to convert to sound like Taylor. And then I would just tag the bot. So the bot is juice A11 because I'm in the A1 
bot channel and then I would hit enter and then it would just tell me that it's busy and I'm whatever number in line. So it says I'm number one in line and then it will process the bot and uh, process the audio file and then I can download it and it will just show up here. Or if you don't want to wait, they can just like check your, your messages. So of course I've already done this. Let's just go ahead and take a listen to the Taylor AI version that it made for me. I wear t-shirts, she's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers dreaming about the day. So pretty convincing, pretty good uh, performance on that Taylor vocal. And then I tried Ariana Grande. Just dreaming about the day when you wake up and find that what you're looking for has been here the whole time. If you could see the end. I mean, and that Ariana Grande one, that one sounds so clean. That one's really good. Um, but this was basically what I used to tr um, the original audio file. This was the demo singer. Cause she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts, she's cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers dreaming. And you can hear that she kind of already sounds like Taylor Swift and when you do this conversion you're obviously copying the performance, everything, the, the way they sing it, like she's got a little bit, bit of a little vibrato in one of the notes and just copies all that notes. So you're really just doing this uh, tone transfer or timbre transfer and there's some other articles about this kind of concept, I believe. I believe you can also learn about it on this magenta.tensorflow.org website where they kind of talk about how you can, they came up with this process of where you can take uh, a voice and turn it into a violin. Somewhere over the rainbow. So this tonal transfer, this timbre transfer, has been just converted into being used for changing voices or, or changing, or as like a voice changer type of situation where you can have one vocal, one person sing it and then turn it into a new voice. And I see like a lot of useful applications for this. Like I could have this demo singer sing a vocal, say, hey, sing it kind of like Taylor Swift, and then we can convert it to uh, Taylor Swift using the AI model and then like pitch it to uh, her or like their a &R team or something and then they can get a better idea of how the song sounds. So there's like a lot of use for this for people who are doing like pitches, pitching to pop stars. And I also had a demo vocal that sounds like this. I want your love and I want your revenge You and me could write a bad romance And I released a cover of Bad Romance a few months ago and that is the vocal from that cover and then I just was curious what it would sound like if I converted it to sound like Taylor, Sw Taylor Swift. I want you love and I want your revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. So I think the first demo singer sounded a lot better when I converted her to sound like Taylor Swift. But we can check this out with like an instrumental again. I want you love and I want your revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. So this is all just an introduction into singing voice conversion. You can do more research if you're a developer than uh, try to figure out more of this and make it easier for people like me to understand it and use this program because at the moment, I don't really know like what is going on behind the scenes when I run all those processes. Um, so if somebody really understands this and can make it better, then that would be really helpful. So that's basically how that Ghostwriter made the song, he had to do the beat. Uh, however made the beat, maybe he used some AI to come up with some of the instrumentation or some of the samples. But overall, he had to make the beat, he had to sing the beat and record it, and then he had to convert the voices. So the real AI, I think, is just using that singing voice conversion when he converted his voice to sound more like Drake and The Weeknd. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also please subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. And if you like to check out any of my serum preset packs, I'll put links down below for those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.